All right, I bought something. Um, I've had this um, component tester, one of these uh, things, and it has a battery, and it, you had to buy this case as a separate unit, and nine volt battery, and it, it was just, it's, it's cumbersome. One of the modifications I did was to add some clip leads to it, so I could either use the socket or a clip lead, so it's just it's super old. I don't know how many, how many years I've had this thing. It's super, super old. Um, I, I went ahead, so they've been many, many versions of those things, and here's, here's, a, here's a more recent one. And look at the nice case, beautiful case. The, the socket is inset. Um, it's a color display. Um, and uh, it's rechargeable, so it's got lithium in it. Uh, here, let's stick a let's stick a part in it so we can. Oops! So I can push the test button. And it says it's a uh, bipolar PNP HFE of ninety three point three. Anyway, uh, it's, it's a nice it's a nice box. So this will be a great a great upgrade. Um, I like I like that it's rechargeable. I don't know how long it lasts, but we'll find out. Uh, beautiful little color display. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is it doesn't have my my patented clip leads on the sides. Now, what it did come with, it came with a charging cord. It's a mm, micro USB. But it did come with these. It came with a set of uh, patch cords um, with little pokies on them. So you have to like put these in a particular order and then you put them in the one, two, three slots, and then you close, and then now, now, now you have a thing, and you're working on it, and go, oops, you know, one pulls out. I don't know. Um, it just seems a little bit hokey to me, and I, I will curse this over and over and over and over again. So, <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put a hole in the side of the case and wire these in hardwired. Because uh, that's just the way I use this all the time. I, I use the clip leads probably half of the time and, and, and then this thing half of the time. So let's open this thing. This, so if anybody wants to buy one of these, um, this says it's a, a model TC1. TC1. So I don't know. I bought it off of Banggood. Um, I had a couple uh, uh, points from selling things on Bang. Whenever somebody... If you link something... And somebody buys something, you get like, I don't know, 4% profit or something off of the purchase. It's hardly anything at all. But it was enough to buy one of these. <laughs> so, oh, I decided to buy something. Um, let's see if we can open this up. Uh, be, be fun to see inside this thing, too. I don't know if there's still... If it's an Arduino, you know... Uh, 328 part in there. Or I don't know what they what they use these days. Oops. Magnetic screwdrivers half of the time are really really great and half of the time are a real pain. <laughs> so you can't win. When you want them magnetic they are great. Okay there we go. Got four screws out. Back. Uh, oh, there's our little lithium. Oh, he's cute. Uh, so he's over there. Uh, okay, I got, he's on a socket too. This, this is constructed pretty nice. Pull him off. Oh, 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 oh. I took, I took it back. I took it back. <laughs> this is kind of flopping around, so that's a little bit dangerous. Okay, so what I want to do is first to take a. Oh, I don't want to break the L LCD or get fingerprints on it. Either one. Does it say what this part is? If I had to guess it's a 328, but it's unmarked. It's probably a clone. Um, but it looks like a th looks like a 328 design. This is a 16 megahertz crystal, so yeah, it's probably a 328. Um, but it looks like it's got lots of stuff on it. Go button. It's got an IR link on it too, which is really weird. It's like a it's an IR receiver. So I, I, I don't I don't know why it has an IR receiver on it, but it does. If somebody knows, comment below. All right, so I want to take these guys, side of them on in some particular order. Let's see. I guess black and red is one and two, right? Color code. Or brown and brown and red. Black is really zero. 
Anyway, I think I'll do it like this. I'll do black, red, green. So zero, two, five, whatever. <laughs> One, two, three. Um, and I'll solder those in. So yeah, let me heat up the soldering iron. All right, I just tied down the uh, LCD so it won't flop around on me. Um, and let's see, I gotta get the, I gotta get the numbering right here. So this goes like that. So one, two, three is one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three is, it? oops, now I've lost it already. One, two, three, okay, one, two, three. I'm going to go one, two, three right there. Let's see here. Okay. Um, do these need to be that long? They seem to be a bit long. I cut them down. All right. These are probably not the best wires. I should probably put on some good wires, but should I do that now or later? Uh, I'm too lazy. We'll see how long this can last. Maybe, maybe I'll have to rework it someday with better wire. But. At least for some amount of time, it will work great. I'll put a little solder on these. Because it's probably lid free. Oops. Oh. You're yelling at me, aren't you? You're yelling at me. You have to go through the hole in the case. Uh, I will make a slot in the case. <laughs> yes, I'll make a slot in the case. If I haven't mentioned it, I have shaky hands and I don't know why. I don't have any ailment that would be shaky hands. I just have always had them. Go figure. All right, there we go. Now I need to mark out where I want the slot to be. Where's the mark with? I want it to be about there. Something like that. What's the best way to make that slot? Dremel tool? Uh, so let's put the uh, battery connector back on and put this back down. I think we're, I think we're good to go. Look at that. Very nice, huh? Very professional. I'm gonna wish I put new new wires on here. I just know it, but you know me. I do not have patience like my father did. That did not come down. There are different types of engineers in the world too. A lot of people try to put them all into one basket. There are some engineers who are very good at methodically plotting along on one path, one idea, doing one particular thing. And then there are people who can do 80% of the work in a very, very short amount of time and get a result. And that could save the company a lot of money because if you got a 100% result and you find out it's wrong, you're better off having the 80% result really, really quick that tells you things are wrong. So there's a big balance between um, accuracy and speed. And that's just something that comes along with the territory. Um, some jobs need, require speed, some jobs require accuracy. Some people are better at one than the other. And they both have their place. 
there we go. See that? It works. It works. So now I have a modified, the wires are always attached. It's rechargeable. Uh, yeah, very, very nice.